Welcome back, folks, and thanks for sticking with us on this Sunday morning. I hope you all are having a fantastic Sunday. Well, joining us right now is Oscar De Leon, and you are from the St. Joseph Church, and you are here talking about the annual Spring Festival. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Uh, our Spring Festival uh, is annual Spring Festival. Um, it's usually food, fun, and family. Perfect. Uh, and our, our, our thing is that, uh, you know, you see... You see your your congregation there at church and everything like that, and sometimes you want to get to know them. Uh, this is one of the things that uh, helps us get to know them and also uh, brings in funds for our church, uh, which we are trying to build a new one. Okay. Wow, that's important. Now, have you guys just grown so so much that you it's definitely needed? It will be yes. in a completely different location or will be close by? No, it's going to be in a completely different location. Uh, our new location is uh, on 10th Street. Oh, wow. Uh, just north of... Uh, uh, Freddy Gonzalez. Oh, wow. uh, we used to have our festival there, but okay. uh, we changed it now. Uh, we're having it at our at our church, there on uh, Fay, and uh, from there we have everything there. We have our game night. Uh, we have all of our food booths, uh, fajitas, uh, wow. nachos, and we also have games that are going to be going on. Um, we have the carnival rides also, mm -hmm. and we're going to have a new a new thing this year is going to be a, a video game trailer that is going to be used Wow! Uh, for the older kids, of course, because mm -hmm. sometimes they take the older kids and the older kids are like, there's nothing there for right. us. So now we're going to try and accommodate them on that. Wow, that's very exciting, kind of tailoring and kind of attracting to all kinds of, you know, adults, the young kids, the yes. teenagers. We're also going to have uh, vendors. Uh, okay. This year, we're going to do it two days. Uh, mm -hmm. The years before, we used to only have vendors on one day, mm -hmm. uh, but this year we're going to have it two days. That way, everybody can get, uh, uh, I guess, the selling of, of homemade products and stuff like that wow. uh, done. And we're going to have them for on Saturday and on Sunday. Wow, that's great. Wow, that's exciting. And so, what kind of vendors? People are just making different various things, various yeah, items? Yeah, you know, some people have their arts and crafts and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Some people make crosses, some people make uh, signs, mm -hmm. uh, religious signs. But there's going to be a whole bunch of different uh, vendors that are going to be there. Uh, it's not all religion or anything like that, mm -hmm. but most of it is. Uh, but they're going to have a whole bunch of different vendors and, and uh, for everybody, everybody, uh, kids, adults. Uh, novelties, stuff like that. Wow, it sounds very exciting. I mean, this is the 10th annual, so it's something that you've continuously been putting on year after year now. Yes. Has it grown so much since, you know, some of the first few that have been put on? Yes, it has. Uh, I mean, a lot of a lot of the stuff is, is, is still the same, which is, of course, the food, mm -hmm. the carnival, the fun. Uh, we also have game night, mm -hmm. uh, and also we have a raffle this year uh, that we're going to have at the end of uh, of the day. Wow, and what kind of games can we expect? Uh, games as far as uh, game night is is something like a bingo. Oh, and okay. that is our biggest, that of is course. our biggest seller. Yeah, definitely. Everybody, Everybody loves, loves, loves bingo <laughs> and stuff like that. So that our game night is going to be the top one. Wow, how exciting. And so now how long has it taken to plan something like this? I know you said it's it's all for to kind of get everybody in the congregation to come out and meet everybody and kind of well, the, every, uh, the committee started, uh, I guess, getting together around January, mm -hmm. starting to, to get things rolling and everything like that. And once it starts getting closer to the event, of course, uh, everything starts going into place. And now we're just waiting for the time to come. That way we could set up and, and wait for the day. Of course. And you said all these funds are going to go to building the new church that yes. you are all doing. Now, th how long has that new church been in progress? I know we kind of, last time we kind of spoke about this um, with others from your church. And, you know, that was something very excited that they were yes. talking about. Uh, it, it's been, I believe, I believe it's been going on for quite some time. Uh, Father, Father Marr uh, started it. And uh, we've been gathering the funds together to to get the new church built mm -hmm. and we're we're not too far from getting that into reality mm -hmm. and this definitely helps because we usually have our turkey fest which is for the school mm -hmm. but we also have the spring fest which is for the church in itself wow and what kind of other events throughout the year do you do that kind of help to 
raise money for them? Well, church? I believe this one is the one that we do for the church. Uh, okay. the, we usually have a turkey fest, mm -hmm. and that turkey fest is actually for St. Joseph's right. School. Right, okay. So that wow. helps out with them. So this one is just strictly for the church. Yes, wow, how exciting. So, I mean, it sounds like definitely an exciting event that's coming up, and, you know, you invite everybody. So what if there are people who aren't a part of the church that want to come out? They are welcome. Okay. They are welcome to come. Uh, not only that, also to meet their community. I mm -hmm. mean, if they are from Edinburgh or if they're from uh, McAllen or anything like that, I mean, they can meet their community uh, there and, uh, of course, have a lot of fun with families mm -hmm. and and everybody that's going to be joining us. Of course. Now, what's some of your favorite parts of the Spring Festival? What are you most excited about? The food. Of course. <laughs> the food. The food is, is good. Uh, the Knights of Columbus, I believe they are, they're going to be doing the fajitas and everything like mm, that. They, they are very good cooks. Oh, wow. That they sounds delicious. They are very delicious. good cooks. They went to, uh, I believe they, they went up when uh, Hurricane Harvey, and they cooked for some of the people wow. that were helping out over there. And they, they got a lot of compliments on wow, all their cooking so amazing. I'm excited about that one. Definitely. Now is there admission into the actual festival or how does that work? No, it's free. You okay. can come in and but uh, everything that everything that you buy of course right. uh, has a price to it mm -hmm. and we sell tickets for those. Okay. So every every food booth, uh, every drink, everything like that, of course we're also going to have a beer garden. Wow, okay. Those you buy tickets for and then of course uh, when you're going to go purchase them, of course you give them the tickets and they give you the product. Perfect. That way we can keep an eye on everything. Okay. So really it's just kind of a free event, everybody come out and then, you know, whatever you want to participate in, whether it's the obviously the food, sounds like it's definitely yes. going to be a hit, but different rides you said as well. I mean, it yes. sounds like it's going to be a true kind of like this carnival type yes. exciting they're gonna I believe also we're gonna have a uh, uh, rock climbing too so. oh that's exciting some kids out yeah. there have you seen did you have that last year I believe they did the only thing that they didn't have last year was that uh, video game okay trailer. so that one's something new and that's yes. pretty exciting because a lot of a lot of kids you know even adults are into those video yes. games do you have any specific ones that you guys are bringing out this time I, or are you just I don't know what they're bringing <laughs> out I do know that it's gonna have quite a few games in there Definitely. Well, that's really exciting. And of course, you said you had mentioned that all of these funds go to building that new church that yes. you guys definitely need. You said now you've, I'm sure, had a lot of people come to your church and you express the need. Hey, we wish we could have one close to our house. And yeah, we've been announcing it. Yes. Well, that's exciting. Well, thank you so much, Oscar, for coming in today. Thank I really you appreciate it. Again, April 21st from 12, 12 p.m. till 9. 9 p. Sounds exciting. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. All right, folks. Well, that is it for us on this Sunday morning. We thank you so much for joining us. We hope you'll tune in next weekend. Have a great day.